Hey there, is today your first time here? Or maybe your first time in a while? If so, maybe you're wondering exactly who we are and what this church is all about. Well, we'd like you to know that we're a group of ordinary people who are on an amazing journey together, following Christ. Our guide is the Bible because it's the divinely inspired word of God and it will never take us in the wrong direction. Along the way, we hope you'll see that we are welcoming and spiritually passionate and that getting to know you is a big deal to us. We know that the road is rough sometimes, but we'll work really hard to bring you practical and relevant messages to equip and encourage you through life's ups and downs. We want you to know that we care about this community, and we believe that it's our job to make it a better place. So no matter who you are or where you've been, we're glad you're here with us today. And we hope that you'll join us on our journey, following Christ and living out His plan for us. So welcome to church. that you gave your son for us, God, that we may, God, be prosperous, God, that we may, God, in the name of Jesus, live, God. Father, your word says that you came that we may have life and that more abundantly. So, Father, in this room, we lose the spirit of life, the gift of life in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, God, on this morning that you will break habits, break chains, destroy yokes in the name of Jesus, not by power, not by might, but by your spirit. In the name of Jesus, so papandiasha zelepo suma matanda here father we pray god that your grace uh, will fill this room in the name of jesus uh, let your spirit dwell here uh, father you say that you inhabit the midst you inhabit the praises of your people uh, and what the spirit of the lord is uh, there is liberty uh, there is freedom there is prosperity uh, there is joy uh, in the name of jesus uh, your words as they in your presence uh, there is fullness of joy uh, so father the ones that walk to this room huh? that are full of depression, huh? that are full of worry and doubt, huh? that are full of confusion, huh? that are full of disbelief. Huh? Father, huh? we pray on this morning huh? that you break it now huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? Let minds be restored. Huh? Let souls be reclaimed. Huh? Let the Holy Ghost God huh? overtake this place huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? And we declare huh? that from the rising of the sun huh? to the going down the same. Your name that is above every name. We praise the name of God. We praise Jehovah. We know you are Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Tishkanu. We claim you God. Right now in the name of Jesus. Let worship be in this place. Let praise be on my lips. Let praise be in my heart. In the name Jesus, uh, Lord, let you arise, uh, God, arise, uh, and let the enemies uh, be scattered, 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 uh, depression, uh, be scattered, uh, be scattered, uh, be scattered, uh, infirmities, uh, be scattered, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, for the name of the Lord uh, is a strong tower, uh, and the righteous run to it, uh, and they are safe, uh, in the name Jesus, uh, you are safe. In the Makora Basantaya, in the Lebosora Mamataya, Yebeshaya de la La Bahaya. Oh, hey, oh, Mamma Yana Basai. Oh, we need you. We need your spirit. Oh, God, 
God, we can't operate without your spirit. Oh, we can't move forward without your spirit. Let your heaviness be in this room. Oh, God, remember the altar on this morning. Etana Messiah. Don't let the altar go barren. But Father, release your fire upon the altar. Turn this sanctuary into an altar, God. In the name of Jesus, every hindering spirit be broken now. We lose the garment of praise on every spirit of heaviness. In the name of Jesus, we worship you. We adore you. We magnify you. You are the holy God. You are the risen king. You are Alpha. You are Omega. You are the beginning and the end. The first and the last. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. Hey, you're to my Masha. Lord, let the message that has been released through the actors of today, let it penetrate the heart of the devil, let it penetrate the heart of the enemy, in the name of Jesus, we claim back minds, we claim back souls, we claim back spirits, we claim the backslider, in the name of Jesus, you said you are married to the backslider, in the name Jesus, oh, we give you glory. Hey, oh, no, my, yeah, 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 yeah
what happened during the preceding Jesus' death and after. Some of us has, have heard various sermon, sermonic tellings of the Lord's death and resurrection. But today, today, however, we are doing something a little different. Not only will you hear the sermon, but you will see and hopefully feel the sermon. Amen. What do I mean by that? An illustration is the action or fact of illustrating something either pictorially or by exemplification. To illustrate means to explain or make something clear by examples. To demonstrate, to make clear, to make plain, to bring home. Amen. An illustrated sermon then is the demonstration that casts light upon the Word of God by direct reference to the biblical text and the preached word through the preacher. The demonstration can include props, characters, visuals, audio, and other surprises. The goal of an illustrated sermon is to shed light on the Word of God in a different way, engaging all of the senses under the direction and influence of the Spirit of God. We encourage you to hear, to see, to understand, and to participate. Please welcome Bishop Terrence E. Coleman and the Greater Pentecostal Church of God Ministry in the celebration of the King. Yeah. Glory to God. celebration, you know. We are celebrating the risen Christ. We call it Easter Sunday. It's Resurrection Sunday, but I think we need to give God some praise. Come on. All over the building, you ought to be standing. Giving God the praise. Because he's a good God. Yes, he is. And we certainly give honor to the Lord who is the head of our life to the ministry, to Prophet Coleman today, and all those that are watching by internet, Facebook, or YouTube, we welcome you to connect in with us and join in, because this is all about a celebration. I'd like to start out by reading a scripture to set this whole thing up. It is coming from John, the 12th chapter, verses uh, 12 through 18. 18. On the next day, much people that would come to the feast when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. He took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried out, Hosanna, Hosanna, bless the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, when he had found a young ass, set thereon and is written fear not daughter of Zion behold thy king cometh sitting on the ass's coat these things understood not his disciples at first but with Jesus was glorified then remember they that these things were written of him and all what they have done these unto him. The people therefore that was with him when he called Lazarus out of the grave and raised him from the dead and bare record. For this cause the people also met him for that they heard that he had done this miracle. Yes, a celebration. Somebody say celebration. We all like celebrations. Who doesn't like celebrations? 
We like celebrating graduations. We like to celebrate anniversaries. We even celebrated GPC's 50th church anniversary. It was a celebration. I like birthdays. I like all these type of celebrations. But who doesn't like a celebration? But I tell you today, this is a celebration of a king. And usually, when kings celebrate, they have wine, they have drinks, they have girls, they have food celebration. But this is a celebration is a little bit different because we celebrate a king called Jesus. He's the Messiah. It was prophesied. It was told that he's coming. And the scripture lets us know he's coming, amen, to a city of Jerusalem. You must understand, amen, today that the people were looking for a political leader to get rid of their oppressors. But Jesus didn't come in that way. He didn't come in that fashion. But he came on a on an ass. He came on a horse. He came and to show his humility, amen, for the people of God. Who is this king of glory? His name is Jesus. He's the king of glory. He's the Messiah. Amen. One is looking for, amen, him to come and to show up. Here's another thing I want to share with you. The crowd gather and they holler, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Amen. Showing the admiration. It was an expression, amen, of the praise that they had for this king. I wish I had a few people would join in today and say, Hosanna, Hosanna. Because we praise this king. This is the king of glory. The king of glory. Hosanna, Hosanna. I would ask you today, amen, this morning, would you join in with me as we celebrate the king?
Come on, celebrate. Nobody like this king. It was Jerry's daughter. He was a leader in the synagogue. He heard that his daughter was sick with some type of illness. And the illness turned to death. But Jesus made a house call. This king made a house call and touched this little girl that was 12 years old and said, Tamata, Puma, get up! And she got up by the power of Jesus Christ, the King of the Jews. Come on and celebrate nobody my Jesus. Like nobody, nobody, nobody. 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 Everybody knows about the woman that was had the issue of blood for 12 long years. And if you did the math, it was probably over 4,000 days that she suffered, losing blood, weak, going to doctor to doctor, urgent care, hospital, looking for a cure for her issue of blood. But she said, and she heard about Jesus. She heard about this king. Yeah. She heard about this Messiah. She said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, yeah. I believe I can be made whole. But listen, her faith was not in the hem, the H-E-W-N, but it was in the H-I-M, him, yeah. the Christ, the Lord, the Savior, the beginning and end. Nobody, nobody, nobody! Celebrate with us this king. take a praise break right here and celebrate this king. I'm telling you, there's nobody like Jesus. There's nobody like this king. And there are some good kings and there are some evil kings. But nobody Amen. Had a king like this. Aren't you glad that you know the king? Aren't you glad that we could take the time out and celebrate the king? Come on, church. He's done something for me. The king has done something for you. And we ought to celebrate today. I don't know how we can just sit there. We're not trying to entertain you. We're not trying to do a performance. 
but we're trying to share with you the glory of this king. Oh, I feel like giving God some praise by myself. Oh, hallelujah. I may be old, but I still can celebrate the king. I may have a king stab, but I'm still going to celebrate the king. Can we take about a minute or two and jump on our feet and celebrate the king? Am I in the right temple? Yeah. My, my. Hallelujah. Can somebody say thank you, Jesus? The crowds were shouting Hosanna and was given expression about this king, about this God, about the Messiah. It was promised from Zechariah, verse 9 and 9, that he would enter in Jerusalem on an ass. And this will be a sign to John 12 that he's the king. But look what happens, how things will turn that they betrayed Jesus. The same crowds hollering Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. The same crowd was cheering and giving praises to Jesus. They turned on Jesus. Can you imagine? They turned on him. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He opened up even blinded eyes and cast out demons and evil spirits out. The same Jesus. They said, Hosanna, Hosanna. Now, they're crying out, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. My question to you today, why crucify the king, Jesus? He didn't do anything wrong, but went around doing miracles, signs, and wonders. But they holler, crucify him, crucify him crucify him and the crucifixion was something that the Romans amen came about to use against criminals people that committed crimes like murder mm -hmm. like like thieves if if I understand it Jesus never committed any crimes did he Jesus did not commit any murders. He certainly was not a thief. Why have such punishment to Jesus Christ, our Savior? And let me tell you, my friend, Roman soldiers were cruel. They were brutal. They didn't play. It's almost like some of the brothers out on the street. They were whoop, whip. And what the commands would be, they had to obey Julius Caesar. They had to obey the kings, whoever, the magistrates. And here Jesus is being crucified on a cross. He suffered and bled, took the beating, going from trial to trial. Amen. Been tested back and forth. And they even questioned him Are you the king? Are you the king of the Jews? They even put a little sign on top of the cross. 
to say, this is the king of the Jews. There were others that did not even want to put the sign up there. But it signified that he's a king. They crucified Jesus. Yes, he was wounded for our transgressions, and he when was wounded for our iniquities. That was God, the King. Seems we have forgotten. Never said a mumbling word about him giving his own son. But only yeah. forgive them, for they know Think not. About what they do. The pain that he went through. My question to you, my friend, can you forgive when people have wronged you? People have done you wrong? Can you forgive like Christ? Jesus said, if I can forgive you, certainly you can forgive others.
scriptures tells us, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe in so also in me, for in my Father's house are many mansions. But not so, I would have told you so. But Jesus already foretold of his death, his burial, and also his resurrection. They were weeping and crying. Even the mother of Jesus was weeping and crying over what they done to her son. She loved that man. She loved that boy. Birthed him to the world. And to see him being crucified, suffered, and bled on a cross. Then Joseph came and they took the body. Yes, Jesus' body and put it in a borrowed tomb. And the soldiers were guarding the tomb because it was forestated through Jesus. He said, on the third day, I'm going to get up. You can destroy this tabernacle, but I'm going to get up on the third day. They remember the words of Jesus. My question to you, my friend, who shall believe the report? Do you believe? The kings believe. The magistrates believe. So what they did, they put a stone in front of the tomb, the grave. Then they sealed it all the way around. Maybe Peter, maybe John or Jane, the inner circle thinking that may come back and move the stone and take the body just to prove that he rose again. My, my, my. So they sealed it and put some guards in front of the tomb. Three days. Somebody say three days. I don't know. Was it one early Sunday morning? I don't know whether it's on a, a hour that we not know. But all I know, he got up. Somebody say he got up. Yeah. He got up. Disciples with no way around. They ran, they hid, went back to the occupation and fishing. They ran, took off, and left Jesus by himself. But one day, he got up from all our sins. Come on. You cry. It ain't over. He got victory. Yeah, where is your team? Where, where is your victory? Yes, yes, yes.
say tomorrow? Because Jesus lives. Come on. And he lives today. Come on. Give God the praise. I don't have to cry anymore. I don't have to weep anymore. Jesus lives. I can be healed. I can be saved. It's all right to celebrate. It's all right to shout. It's all right to dance. Come on, this is a celebration of a king. Hallelujah. I heard somebody say, thank you, Jesus. I heard Paul say, thanks be unto God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ. Somebody say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Jesus.
That's why we worship him, Mother, for the great things he's done. All the miracles, signs, and wonders. But the greatest thing that he did was to die on that cross. Because if it was not for the shedding of blood, it wouldn't have been no remission of sin. That's what Christ came to do. He came to die. That was his purpose. That was his mission. He came to die and die to remit the sins out of our life. We had that sinful nature because of Adam from the beginning of the time. But he came to eradicate that problem. Amen. To die in our place. Because the Bible says the ways of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life yes I want eternal life I want to be with the king forever and forever and only one way that can take place can happen is through giving my life to Jesus and even people today still like they did in the ancient day, they reject Christ. They don't believe that there's a hope. They don't believe that there's a God like the one we celebrate today. We celebrate him because he got up out of that grave with the victory. He said, death, where is your sting? And grave, where is your victory? Death couldn't hold him. The grave, the tomb couldn't hold him. But he got up with the keys of death and hell with all power in his hand. Who wouldn't want to serve a God like this? Who wouldn't want to celebrate a king like this? Friend, we're glad you came today to join in this celebration. But we wouldn't want to close the door without having an altar call. But before that, we want to say to you, somebody might want to give their life to Jesus. Somebody wants the king in their life. 
And if you're here today, my friend, a lot of young people here today, come on. The Bible said, come. And that means an invitation. You've been invited to come to the King, to come to Jesus. If you're here today, we'll take a few minutes to pray with you. Take a few minutes and say, I want the king in my life. I want to be forgiven of my sin. Will you come? Will you come? The work on Calvary cross, he said, it is finished. The thing that were prophesied, foretold, he even spoke of his own life and what he came to do. And he said, it is finished. The work has been done. And all you got to do is just come and repent of your sins. He'll forgive you. He'll forgive you, whatever it may be. He'll forgive you. I'm talking about my king. What he can do for you, he can fill you with the Holy Ghost. And you have power. I wish I could tell you. I wish I could describe it. But I can't contain it. Can't keep it to myself. There aren't enough colors to paint the whole picture. Not in the words to say, say what I found. Wonderful and beautiful and glorious and holy is merciful and powerful. Who we talking about? That's my king. We declare war. Give him all the honor. All together, world. Hey, who we talking about? That's my king. Hey, everyone, yes, we will adore you. All of us adore you. Hey, who we talking about? That's my Joining the chorus, there are no notes to make the harmony. It's a song of the angels, angels. all of the ages, angels. it's all of the earth in every symphony. Wonderful. That's my God, that's my shepherd, my protector, that's my king, that's my rock, that's my anchor, my defender.
That's my king, that's my God, that's my shepherd, my protector. That's my king, that's my rock, that's my anchor, my defense. Y'all so don't act like it. If real Jesus would walk in the room, you, you sure wouldn't act like it. That's my king. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and what it done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For saving me. Don't you want to be saved today? Don't you want to be delivered today? Don't you want to be set free today? He's coming back. Jesus coming back. Not out of a grave, but he's coming back out of the sky. For the Lord himself to what? Descend from heaven. With a shout, with a voice of an archangel. The dead in Christ shall rise first. And those which remain should be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Don't you want to be part of that crew? Don't you want to be part of that, that great day? That will be an ultimate celebration. To go back with Jesus and live an eternal life. One more time. That's my king, that's my God, that's my shepherd, my protector, that's my king, that's Give you a few my seconds. God, that's my anchor.
bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Did y'all enjoy that today? Amen. The celebration of a king. As we were rehearsing this, preparing for this, reading back over scriptures, I got a whole lot out of it. I don't know about you, but I got a whole lot of it. What Christ came to do on this earth and how they treated him. And that's how folks would do. Folks would be in your corner one day and backstab you the next day. But Jesus, he took it all because he came for a purpose. He came with a mission in mind. And he said, it is fishing. Finish. Before we, we're going to have our announcements and then we're going to receive our offering and our tithe. And before we do all that, I want to thank everybody for coming out. How many first time visitors are with us today? First time, first time. Will you mind standing? we like to celebrate you. There's a hand. Come on, let's celebrate. First time, first time, first time, first time, first time. That's right, that's right. We celebrate you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming with us, mother. Hope you amen. This won't be your last trip. Okay. Hope that this won't be your last time. Amen. Worship me with us. Before I do it, I have to, I couldn't do this all by myself. And uh, we had we got a large crew. I'm just not gonna just skip over this one and say that I'm gonna try, I'm gonna announce everybody I got on this sheet of paper here. Well, of course, you know who I am. I'm Bishop Coleman Pastor, and I was a storyteller. The townspeople, uh, they don't mind just stand up or wherever you at, but throw you. Yolanda Cox, Shoreline Lovelace, Melody Brown, Lakeisha Rimmer. Look at that, they got up on the screen. Well, you know we bad, you can do it like Hollywood. <laughs> uh, La La Lakeisha, Lakeisha Rimmer, LaShawn Bester, Vandalia Cox, and Carl Barker. The dancers, man, y'all got to give our dancers. My little girl, y'all all stand on y'all feet. They was really in and into it. I'm proud of them. Y'all run down here when I call your name. We got Elsie uh, Mitchell. Elise. Elise. Elise, I'm sorry. Come on down. I want you right here. Come on, give her in. Where your sister at? Navy, come on. I'll, we got the spotlight, y'all. Macy, where Macy at? Macy Brown. London Rimmer. Where London? Kamara Washington. Come on, give her a hand. They so cute. Winter Harris. Where is she at? Did she have to leave? She, huh? Okay, we understand that. Y'all give them a hand. And Gabby, Gabby Hammond, she was, there yeah, she is, the poor Africa, and trained these young ladies, did a great job, did an amazing job, and uh, she started right here at this church. She was the first one in our daycare. <laughs> Give her a hand. Gabby, somebody say, Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. Thank you, Sister Hammond's daughter. We appreciate you so much. Amen. And we certainly thank this young man stepping in, taking the beatings and whippings and riding a horse and uh, getting whipped on the cross. Christopher Long played as Jesus. This is J-Lo's twin brother. Believe it or not. And we thank, we thank J-Lo for being his coach. I never heard Jesus had to be coached, but you coached him. 
Eric Mitchell played as the demon possessed man. He's somewhere around. Carol Barker, uh, she played as the woman with the infirmity. Navy Mitchell, she played Jerry's daughter. She got up. Vandalia Cox, she played the woman with the issue of blood. Wonderful. The Roman soldiers, Cortez Bester. Somewhere in the house. Devin Williams, Roman soldier. Marco Payton, Roman soldier. And also Eric Mitchell. Marco also played as the angel that rolled the stone away. There he is. And these singers did an amazing job, led by Nyla Coleman. We got Jasmine Crawford, Eric Mitchell, Marco Payton, Joy Downs. Stephanie Bird, yeah. Melanie Brown. Yeah. She really got a holiday in the shower. Huh? <laughs> the graphic designer and illustrator, illustrator Ryan Coleman. Yeah. He had to leave he had to play for another church. The audio technician, Ryan Coleman. The musician, boy, y'all. Y'all a bad crew, man. We got Byron Dotson on the keys. We got Cody Kirkwood on the B3. We have Peter on the bass. Nigel on the drum. Get a drum or something. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Man, we blessed to have a band like this. Hey, bad, man, I appreciate them. I'm glad they, they are with us and they can all work together and put this music, uh, put it all together. The media team. If the media team is in the back, in the back room, if they don't mind just running out here a little bit in the back, we have Janelle Barnes. Come on, let everybody see you. Y'all come on out here for a little bit. They can't see you back there. You got to run down here and then run back. Janelle Barnes. Thank you. Lena Watkins. Thank you. Stephen Watkins. Thank you. Come on, give him a hand. All our camera operators, give them a hand. Camera operator, balcony, got three cameras. We couldn't do it without them. The screenplay was by Lakeisha Rimmer. Where's she at? You need to stand up, girl. She put all this together. Did an amazing job. Amazing job. And also, we thank Jennifer Payton again, kind of co host amen, working things out, helping us out. We appreciate it so much. The set design was by Jerome, Deacon Jerome Moore. Amen. That's Sister Moore's son. He's a former member here. He came over and put things together. Produced by Joy Downs, Lakeisha Rimmer, and Ryan Coleman. And we can't forget Cowboy Critter for providing the horse. Y'all know the horse was in the house. The horse was in the house, but I watched it. He got, the horse got so far, I think that music was so loud, and <laughs> he probably never been in a Pentecostal uh, stable, you know, <laughs> and it, they, we better get out of here. These folk are crazy. It, but the horse was here. It came in halfway, but we appreciate Cowboy Critter, amen, for their participation bringing the horse in, amen, to do this live production. We appreciate, man, let me tell you something, we appreciate everybody 
for being a part of this and being a part of this uh, Easter service or resurrection service. I hope you really enjoyed it. Hey, Amen. I know I did. Man, I won't forget this. You can, now, I don't know, let me tell you this, that the internet was down somebody in this area, but we taped it or recorded it, so you'll probably be able to watch it uh, later this evening or tomorrow on YouTube or Facebook. Hey, Amen. I know my mom is watching, or wanted to watch. I know I'm going to get a phone call probably in about two hours from now and say, son, what happened? You know, because she wanted to be here with us today. She lives in Centralia, Illinois, and she wanted to be here and couldn't make it, amen, because she wanted to witness, you know, this production, amen. But anybody else want to see this again, go back on YouTube, Facebook, and go to Greater Pentecost Church of God, Facebook, and uh, you should be able to see it maybe later on. Amen. We're going to have our announcements, and after that, we're going to receive our offering. So don't leave. Amen. We are right on schedule. We are normally out around 12 o'clock. Give yourself a hand. Joy. Tuesday night at 7 p.m. will be corporate prayer. Also on Tuesday night, the Trailblazers uh, will be meeting. And this first Tuesday, the men will be having their Bible class. Men, first Tuesday, I want to see you. In the conference room this Tuesday for Bible class. All men, you're welcome whether you're a member of this church or not. Thank you. The Sounds of Greater Music Ministry is open for participation for those interested in singing and playing. Please see Sister Nyla Coleman for more information. Volunteers are needed for Community Day. This is a huge event for Greater Pentecostal Church of God. If you would like to assist, please see Sister Arthurine Collins. The Higher Ground International Ministries Faith Summit is this week, Thursday, April 4th, and Friday, April 5th at 7 p.m. nightly at Faith Miracle Temple, located at 870 Pershaw Road, St. Louis, Missouri, 63137, with speaker Bishop Ronnie Webb. In addition, the Passion of My Pursuit will be taught nightly at 6 p.m. by Apostle Larry J. Baylor. For more information, please visit the website, hgim.us. The GPC Women's Ministry trip to Branson, Missouri at the Sight and Sound Theater to see Queen Esther is on April 27th. The deadline for the balance of your trip um, fee is due April 7th, 2024. Also on April 7th, the Christian Education Department will kick off Sunday School Month for the month of April. Let's say hey for Sunday School. <laughs> Evangelist Jean Moore will be the speaker on that Sunday. On Sunday, April 14th from 10 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. will be Showcase Sunday. The children will be showcasing their talents of what they've learned in Sunday School. We encourage the parents to help their children prepare and to bring them out for Showcase Sunday. On Saturday, April 20th, the Christian Education Department will be sponsoring Feed and Seed with drive through Prayer. We are looking for participation from all ministers, teachers, and congregants with a heart for evangelism. For more information and to volunteer, please see Evangelist Jean Moore. On Sunday, April 21st, will be Surprise Treat Sunday in the Sunday School Hour. Please be sure to be in attendance. You do not want to miss this. On Sunday, April 28th, the Christian Education Department will be sponsoring International Day. Please wear your best international attire. Also, an international buffet will be immediately following service. Seven countries will be represented in the buffet. International meal tickets will be sold beginning April 7th. Ticket prices are $5 for ages 3 through 11 and $10 for ages 12 and up. Please see Sister Vidalia Cox, the woman with the issue of blood, for tickets. On April, I'm sorry, on April 28th, Sunday at 4 p.m., Pastor Ricky Lomax and the True Grace Church will have a dedication for its new location at 1600 Heritage Landing, 
Suite 210, St. Charles, Missouri, 63303. Our pastor, Bishop Terence E. Coleman, will be the guest speaker. These are your announcements. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Joy, for the announcement. We're going to receive our offering today and our tithes. And for our first time uh, visitors and guests, we would say that you're not obligated because uh, you're not a member to give your tithes to this church. But we would like, if you can, to give an offering. There was no charge, no fee 